Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, keepingitfree.blogspot.com, a free financial blog. Today is March the 9th, 2020. Let's talk money. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. This morning, the Dow is down well more than a thousand points. Right? The White House is planning to release a statement to the American people on how it can help the economy. Right? It might involve fiscal policy where the government spends a lot of money that it doesn't have. Let's remember we're in the U.S., more than $2 trillion in debt. Right? And then it'll raise taxes later. Right? So it's going to divert some of the economic might of the country toward trying to employ people at a time of full employment. Right? It might also involve loosening up the money supply, expanding it, urging the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates further. Right? They're already at record lows in the bond market. But you know, the president wants to get to 0% rate of interest, if not negative yielding bonds. Now, understand, while that's happening in the world of fiat currency, right? The Federal Reserve, when it lowers interest rates, is loosening up the purse strings for the release of fiat currency. Let's talk about the cryptocurrency markets. Understand, as bad as the coronavirus is, and it's terrible, folks, this is a international problem. This is a pandemic. As bad as the coronavirus situation is, did you know that Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash are not increasing their supply because of it? Think about that for a moment. So if I'm holding a dollar at a time where the Federal Reserve is engaged in money printing, right, it's literally injecting money into the economy to deal with the repo market crisis, right? If I'm holding a dollar at a time where there's a 50 basis point cut and the president is still not happy, he's pressuring Powell to cut it more. If I know there's going to be a lot of money printing, if I know there's a lot of debt that can't be repaid without money printing, if I know there are a lot of pensions that are underfunded by 30%, right, CalPERS here in California, or by 50 or more percent, some of the pensions in Illinois, for example, and if I understand that I need to save these pension funds by printing money because I can't get the money through taxes, right? The people just don't have the money to give. If I know I'm going to be engaging in money printing and all of my assets are dollar denominated, then I know I'm going to lose some of the value of those assets through inflation. Right? Whereas before, $5 could get me a burger, fries, and a drink at some fast food places. In the future, it might not. I'll be lucky to get the fries. Now, in the crypto world, think about what crypto holders are thinking. The coronavirus, yeah, that is absolutely awful. But thank God they're not playing games with the supply of Bitcoin because of it. Right? Understand, the world is upside down right now. One would think that fiat currency, with the full faith and credit of the American government behind it, would hold its value better than some software program. But it's the software program that's giving holders reliability. 
right? I know they're not going to water down Bitcoin. In fact, I know in the middle of May there's going to be a happening. The rate of increase of Bitcoin is going to decrease even more, right? Bitcoin supply is predetermined. So in time, people are going to figure out that the more stable prices, at least the retention of purchasing power, is going to be more reliable with Bitcoin, can I say this in public, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, then it's going to be with fiat currency. Let me let you in on a secret too. If I want to deal with fiat currency in the world of Bitcoin, fiat currency values, then I can buy a stable coin like Tether, right? If I want to be dollar denominated, then I can buy a cryptocurrency that mimics the dollar. So if the dollar appreciates in value versus, let's say, Bitcoin, I would get that appreciation by holding Tether. Right now, the Bitcoin people must be laughing at this point in the video because they know that's not going to happen. So this morning, this morning, right, Bitcoin values are moving in tandem with the Dow Jones. Right, the Dow is down big. There's a panic. Bitcoin is down big. Right? Meanwhile, gold and silver are actually retaining value because people understand the government can't just go and print more gold. There's a limited supply. That supply is governed, quite frankly, by the discoveries of new sources of gold and silver, right? Mining and stuff like that. Well, understand, in time, as consumers become more educated, as they realize that the money supply of fiat currency increases at times exponentially, right, that there's a lot of money floating around Venezuela. It's just not worth a lot because it's fiat currency. Sooner or later, the general public is going to realize that Bitcoin's at the other end of the spectrum. It's sound money. The coronavirus is not going to impact the supply of Bitcoin. It's not going to impact the supply of Bitcoin Cash. Let's go one step further. Let's say you're really savvy this morning and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, my pension fund's already underfunded by 30%. By the way, the name of Robert Kiyosaki's new book is Who Stole My Pension? Right? People around the country are going to start to figure out that the assumptions underlying their pension, right, rates of return built in of 7.5% and 7%, those are fictitious. If your pension's underfunded by 30% based on assumptions of a 7.5% rate of return, how much is it underfunded if that rate of return is actually 40%? Excuse me, 4%. Right? We all wish it were 40%. So let's say you're someone who understands that with the stock market dropping, the value of your pension fund, your retirement, is dropping. Because, of course, the assets of that pension fund are stocks and bonds. Right? Let's say you realize that if the credit markets are collapsing and it's harder for people like you, people on your block, to get home loans, that while the interest rate charged on home loans might be dropping, maybe the value of the underlying homes themselves are dropping. If you realize that you're poor this morning with the Dow Jones down, more than a thousand points than you were two days ago. 
you might go to your bank and you might say you know what let me let me take some money out of the bank right I have some bills I need to pay I was hoping to pay them with you know capital gains later let me pay them now because those capital gains are no longer there right as this coronavirus continues to spread as markets get negatively impacted like the car market in China which dropped more than 90% I'm not kidding people are gonna realize that hey I'm in a different world here a world with a lower Dow Jones let me go take some of my money out of the bank after all I lent it to the bank let's say you get to the bank and there's a line let's say the bank treats you like banks treated the folks in Cyprus not that long ago like banks treated the folks in India world's largest democracy not that long ago let's say there's a line at the ATM and you're having problems pulling your own money out of your bank now let's say your neighbor deals in cryptocurrency instead understand he's not in line at the bank he's not listening to some teller request more information more ID from you so you can withdraw your own money you're not hearing about capital controls if you're in the world of crypto right let's say your neighbors actually doing transactions online with other Bitcoin holders peer-to-peer -peer. let's say your neighbors in the world of privacy coins right Monero Horizon, PIVX, uh, DAPS. Government doesn't even know that your neighbor is engaging in those transactions. Let's say the supply of your neighbor's cryptocurrency isn't even impacted by Federal Reserve money printing, by manipulation of interest rates, right? let's say the crypto world is a little bit more logical than the fiat world where we have increasing credit risk coinciding with lower interest rates worse yet suppose while you need to go down to the bank to talk to someone when the banks open during banking hours let's say your crypto friend has 24 7 access to their funds let's say they're not dealing with tellers understand that cuts both ways right something happens to your money you can talk with someone at the bank in crypto it's more of a new frontier but understand there are advantages to that frontier so if the banks in the United States start acting funny like they did in 2008 where is Washington Mutual today right let's say that banks start evaporating overnight where is Lehman now my point to you is simply that as the financial world deals with the uncertainty caused by the manipulation of interest rates in the world of fiat currency the distinct advantages of using cryptocurrency are going to become increasingly apparent to consumers so over time crypto is going to go from dropping with the Dow Jones today right going in lockstep with the fiat community toward being more of a store of value look at gold and silver right now they're retaining value on a day when the Dow has dropped more than 1500 points right pretty soon people are gonna realize that 
the supply of Bitcoin is unchanged by the coronavirus. Right? Bitcoin will eventually be mimicking the gold and silver market. Your neighbor is not only going to have access to their money 24-7, but your neighbor is going to have money that retains value better than your fiat currency. Right? So just view today as really a moment in time before the public catches on to the fact that crypto isn't fiat. When the Dow Jones drops and the president is going to give a speech and it's going to involve, you know, pressuring the Fed to lower rates uh, during an election year at a time of full employment, when it's going to involve coming up with some government program that's going to employ people at a time of full employment and you understand the government is $2 trillion plus in debt and that if the government's spending money now, that's a tax increase for you later. Right? Just understand that's not happening in the world of crypto. Right? In my opinion... Bitcoin is going to split, it's going to separate from the market trends of fiat currency. And it's going to increase in value and it's going to be more and more apparent that it is a better store of value than the U.S. dollar. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.